Hi everyone and thanks for watching my online lesson on adding ratios. This is probably one of the hardest ratio skills there is to learn and it appears on foundation and higher tier. So this question says, on a farm the number of cows and the number of sheep are in the ratio 6 to 5, the number of sheep and the number of pigs are in the ratio 2 to 1, the total number of cows, sheep and pigs on the farm is 189, how many sheep are there on the farm? So the first part of this question is going to be to add these two ratios I've been given together to form a new ratio of cows to sheep to pigs. Once I have that ratio, I can answer the second part of the question, which is finding out how many sheep there are on the farm. So I'm going to write out the information they've been giving me much shorter. So the first thing is that the ratio of cows, so I'm going to put C for cows and S for sheep, they're in the ratio of 6 to 5. And then they've also given me the ratio of sheep to pigs. So I'm just going to add pigs on the end here and write this ratio underneath, which is 2 to 1. So that's the information that they've given me in the question and I'll now need to form a new ratio of cows to sheep to pigs. Now if you look, the sheep is the one that they've used in both of these ratios. I've got sheep to cows and I've got sheep to pigs. So these values here, I'll need to find a common multiple of both 2 and 5 in order to rewrite my ratio. So the common multiple of 2 and 5 that I'm going to use is 10. I almost think of this as um, adding fractions and subtracting fractions when you find a common denominator. Well, it's like this with adding ratios. I need a common number for the 5 and the 2, and that's going to be 10. So to get from the 2 to 1 to 10 to something, I'm multiplying by 5. Because 2 multiplied by 5 gives me the 10 which means my 1 is going to become a 5. And with my other ratio, to get from the 5 to the 10, I have multiplied by 2. So I'm going to multiply by my 6 by 2, which gives me 12. So my ratio of cows to sheep to pigs is 12 to 10 to 5. And if you look, that satisfies both of my ratios, because 6 to 5 is the same as 12 to 10 and 2 to 1 is the same as 10 to 5. So this ratio works. Now I've got that I can answer the second part of my question and you should already know how to do this because this is an easier skill than adding ratios. So I'm going to rewrite over here cows to sheep to pigs is 12 to 10 to 5 now these add up, at the minute they add up to 27 and they've told me that the total number of cows to sheep to pigs on the farm is 189. So to get from 27 to 189 I am multiplying by 7. So if I multiply all my numbers by 7 that's 84 70 and 35. This tells me the number of cows, the number of sheep and the number of pigs on the farm. I can check I've done this right by just adding these three numbers together and checking I do get 189, which I do. So the question was how many sheep are there on the farm? So there is 70 sheep. Here's a question for you to try. This is talking about men, women and children that go to a concert and it wants you to show that more than half of the people at the concert are men. So focus first on adding these two ratios together to get a ratio of men to women to children and then see if you can show that more than half the people at the concert are men. If you pause the video you can give it a go and then unpause when you're ready to see the solution. Okay, so here's the solution to this question. So I laid it out just like I did before. Men to women is 5 to 3 and women to children is 7 to 4. 
So this time it's the women here in the middle that have been used in both of my ratios. So I need a number that is a common multiple of both 3 and 7. So I chose 21. So to get from 7 to 21 here, I'm multiplying by 3. So I'm multiplying my 4 by 3. And to get from the 3 to the 21, I multiply by 7. So I did 5 multiplied by 7 is 35. Now we don't actually know how many people are at the concert. Just because these add up to 68 doesn't mean there were 68 people at the concert. But what we do know is that 35 out of 68 is my proportion of men. So that's the fraction of men at the concert. And this is more than a half because 34 over 68 is a half. So more than a half of people at the concert were men. Thank you for watching.